today, a self-defense technique that's illegal in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, it's illegal in Judo, it's illegal in Sambo, but it'll work great for you on the street. Okay, if you get grabbed by the lapel, you're in trouble. First of all, he can punch you. Second of all, he can move you around. Third of all, I can't run away because I'm tied to him. I gotta get rid of this. Now, there are all kinds of techniques where you gouge his eyes out, and grab him by both ears and bite his carotid. But what if it's Uncle Jim at the barbecue, at the family barbecue? If you grab him by the ears and bite his nose off again, the family is for sure going to ostracize you. So, here's a technique that's illegal in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Judo because you're attacking a single joint for that matter, or a single digit. For that matter, it's illegal in the UFC too. So, too deadly for the UFC. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stabilize the hand here. I don't want him shaking around. And also, if this hand's on his wrist, now I know where his hand is. I don't need to look anymore. Now I might need to look down and, and telegraph. If I can grab his wrist, now I know where the rest of his hand is. It's attached to his wrist. I'm going to take my hand and put it against the top of his thumb, like this. Then I'm going to push and compress his thumb and strip it away. What it's doing is applying a little bit of a finger lock in this direction here which is painful and also weakens the grip. So we're here, stabilize, palm against the thumb. I gotta find the thumb. I can do that just by feeling where, where his wrist is and his, his thumb has to be attached to that. Then I push and I also push away with this hand. On the other side, it looks like this. I stabilize, I grab here and I pop. To somebody else watching, it just looks like you're superhuman strong to be able to rip his grip off your sleeve. Now this is not the technique to use when he's here and punching you in the face. If he's hockey fighting you. There's probably not time to do this. You'd better be dealing with that. You'd better be trying to clinch. You better be maybe hitting him back. <laughs> now maybe it is the time to do the double ear grab and the nose bite. Similarly, if I've got Richie and I've got a knife, this is again, is not the time for him to be trying to find my thumb and isolate. This is time for him to be giving me his wallet or doing the old eye gouge, double nose bite and controlling this. But in a sort of a low level to moderate level violent confrontation, not extreme violence, not once the punches start swinging, that thumb strip is a great way to get rid of somebody grabbing you and it's very, very quick. Lots of other videos and articles on selfdefensetutorials.com. Go check it out.